Now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Here's Brian Dozier now. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch of the at bat. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Good night for scarves and mittens. It's 48 degrees here at first pitch. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. Stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds at two and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I'm excited to see if that man in the sixth spot can keep it going. Last season, he won the National League Rookie of the Year, and I'll tell you what, he was so impressive particularly down the stretch he never got fatigued and he continued to produce from April till October what a year he put together into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch swings through the slider there and indeed the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first and there are two away now third baseman Stepping in, Justin Turner will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. Pierce is there for it, and that retires the side. Settling in now, Mookie Betts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch coming, here it is. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. One away. Here's J.D. Martinez. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. He's a 375 hitter. He's taken him deep once. Fouled away. Kershaw has finished off more than 1,900 career innings during his time in the big leagues. With an ERA just under two and a half. That's allowing just over two runs per nine innings of work. Behind 0-2 now. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0-2 once more. Swing and a line drive, but this is foul near the seats. The next 0-2. Popped him up. Turner has room in foul territory and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box Andrew Benintendi looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And he turns on one sending it high and deep to right. Back goes Puig still ranging back. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Andrew Benintendi leaves the yard with a solo shot. And the Red Sox get the game's first run. It's one to nothing. 
Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run it through early in the game, and he does just that. Blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The 0-1 on its way. Swung on and hit in the air again, deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And Machado will make the catch here, and that ends the inning. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the... Here's Manny Machado now, lifetime against Chris Sale. He's 5 for 14. He also has one home run. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. You know, when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this, He's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And let's focus our attention on second baseman Dustin Pedroia. They always say the shortstop's the captain of the defense. Well, not on any team that Dustin Pedroia is playing. This guy's nose is in the dirt for nine straight innings and seriously turns one of the best double plays I've ever seen. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Number 13 is sent packing for route number two in the inning. High and deep down the left field line, and this will wind up a foul ball. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Red Sox on top in the early going. 1-0 as we play the second. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off 1-2. and two. Again, a 1-2. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, set to lead off the home half of the second. Dustin Pedroia sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Way in front of that fastball, Kershaw, a 6-4 lefty. This is his first year at the big league level. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. Hernandez comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first down. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And let's take a look at Yasiel Puig, a lightning rod in our sport, but he can play some D. Covers a lot of territory out there and do not come around third base and send this guy home. He has one of the best arms in the game. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And it's off the green monster. The relay, he hit the corner and tries for third. And he is hung out to dry as they tag him out. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Kershaw looks in. Here's the 0-2. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Puig's got a read on it. And the inning is over. 
So here's Matt Kemp now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck outside last inning. How did it get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Grounded to third. To his left, Nunez. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. One away now for the free swinging right fielder, Yasiel Puig. First pitch on its way, and it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. A fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. Into the box, Austin Barnes. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Next for the Dodgers, Brian Dozier. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Here's the 0 1 slider, and it's off his glove, and it bounces away. And he'll make it to second here as he's moved into scoring position now after the passed ball. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. He struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So coming to the plate, Mitch Moreland as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First pitch on its way. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup, and here comes the 0 2 pitch. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Bellinger's under it. He's got it one away. So striding forward now, Eduardo Nunez. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded back up the middle. Taken in by Machado. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Striding into the box, Mookie Betts. He flew out in his last at bat. Kershaw into the windup. Here comes the first pitch. Loud contact by Mookie, and a ball carrying well to left field. And it's gone into the monster seats. Solo home run there for Mookie. And that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. And now J.D. Martinez. I think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. But he left this one belt high. Big mistake. He's a guy that will feast on belt high pitches on the inner half, which is pretty obvious now. Swing and a line drive. But this is foul near the seats. Now this one's crushed. Left field line. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one guys. He rose some days the fellas walked in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, well, there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. 
He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Puig is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So two runs. At the plate, Kike Hernandez, as we begin the top of the fourth. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Betts on the warning track. He makes the catch. How about it? Digging in for his second at bat, Justin Turner. He popped out in his first trip. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Looks at a changeup on the inside corner for a strike. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Into the box now, Manny Machado. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach-high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He sets to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. This is line to left. Hernandez is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Digging in now, Steve Pierce. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Kershaw is ready. Here's the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Three runs, four hits, and one error on the Boston line score. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul, still 0 and 2. Another 0 and 2 coming. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Sandy Leon, first at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. First pitch on its way. Little dribbler down the line. That's a foul ball. Bradley aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, as it looking silly here, it's 0-2. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there, and that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. Therefore, it is Dozier, and that's the first down. How about it? Next up for the Red Sox, Eduardo Nunez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count.
High set by Kershaw. Now the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next 0 2 rounded down the third baseline but this will be a foul ball and it's still 0 and 2. Hey I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Fly ball out to straightaway right. There to make the play is Puig for route number two. Now batting. Right. Ready once again. Mookie Betts comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. From the stretch. This is line to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that'll bring an ball. Leading off of the Here's J.D. Martinez. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch coming. Here it is. Popped him up. Barnes shading to his right. Makes the play. One away. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. One for two with a solo shot that came back in the first inning. Flipped out the other way towards short. And that'll be the second out. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Bellinger is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is standing in. Stepping into the box, Dustin Pedroia. He'll be the one to start things here against Clayton Kershaw. First offering on its way. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Hernandez moves over. He's got it one away. Here's Steve Pierce now. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Turner's got it. Throw on to first will take care of him, and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Threw a base on balls his first time up. Here's the first pitch to him. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. There is Dozier on to first, and this will remain a tie. Here's Brian Dozier now. Pedro Baez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Sandy Leon will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Owen won the count. Behind Owen two now. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Here's a blooper out toward left center. In there, a base hit. 
Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. The pitcher can't be too much. Here's Mookie Betts. The swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. Hernandez will have plenty of room as he makes the catch and there's a big out number two. Digging in once again, J.D. Martinez is working on a one for three thus far. Comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line hard to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Struck him out. One. Some of the hustle and bustle from historic ball. Let's play ball. Leaving off with the Dodgers. Very tight. Number 13. Kenley Jansen comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Into the box now, Andrew Benintendi. He'll lead it off against Jansen, who tries to close the door in this one. First offering on its way. Ground ball right side. Dozier fields it cleanly. Throw on to first in time, one away. Stepping up now, Xander Bogart. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Comes set, and the 0-1. Is swung on and driven out to right center field, a ball that's well hit. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Coming to the plate now, Dustin Pedroia. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Strike one to start the at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss that time by Pedroia as he finds himself in an 0-2 hole now. Pitch on the way. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball and the count holds it 0-2. Hit in the air to shallow center. Bellinger's in pursuit. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Here's Steve Pierce now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1 on its way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Hernandez is under it and he makes the catch for out number. Ready now, Brian Dozier. He'll. Leading off of the Dodgers. Second baseman. Three. Brian Dozier. Your attention for three. Now pitching for the Red Here's Jackie Bradley now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count.
on its way the 0 2 pitch hit in the air down the right field line but this will wind up being a foul ball. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. A solo shot down the line in right. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Hey, when you get to extra innings, you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate. But he says, hey, to heck with that. I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat. So a walk-off home run ends this thing in extras. That was fun. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. Well, the numbers don't just jump out at you, but his lone hit was a really important one. And sometimes you just need to come through what it matters most to be the hero, and he did just that. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4, the final tally. The Boston Red Sox sent five balls over the wall to come out on top in this one. Number 70 is credited with the win. So that will put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.